My name is Simon Beck. I was born and brought up in what was then Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. After finishing school, I went to study fine art in Cape Town in South Africa. When I returned to Zimbabwe, I taught for a few years and set up a studio in Harare. It was in 1996 that I came here to Mauritius Island to join my wife and we have been based here ever since. Over the years I've worked in the field of architecture, sculpture, ceramics and pottery. The vessel image is much explored in my work. My main means of expression, however, has been painting. I use mixed mediums on panel or canvas, introducing drawing mediums such as charcoal or pencil, and at times collaged elements. I tend to paint over and work with layers, so I lean more toward acrylic-based paint. I understand art as an expression of what we cannot express in words. So we build up our own evolving vocabulary of images. Images which invoke in us feelings and expressions encompassing the whole course of our lives, from the present to our early childhood. This vocabulary is a language of associations, colors, and the use of space. As a child, I found escape and peace in the open, clean expanse of the African bush. Although at the time there was trouble and tension present within that same environment. Similarly, in a painting, an open, clean space may be concealing its own history of aggressive, sometimes chaotic mark making, partially erased, disguised or concealed. So for me, the process and building of a painting is very important. It must be able to breathe and have its own presence. But I understand that to arrive there is a path. Seeing this process as a journey is a realization that there will be obstacles along the way. Often what seem at the time to be the most essential, pivotal elements in the painting are in fact the obstacles. In removing them and being forced to work with what is left, I've learned how valuable every piece of a canvas space can be. This process of removal ties in with the theme of sacrifice that I've explored over the years. It has become a central part of my working process today.